recruiting in her fifth year, the Ohio State standout, 12th year overall as a collegiate coach. So I spent, it was either three or four years at the University of Washington as their Dobo, um, where I really got to know June and Mike. Um, obviously she started off as my boss and taught me so many things and then later in our relationship she just became friend and family um, there's so many things that June taught me and I don't even have enough time to, to tell you all of them but but I'm proud of who I am and I think a big piece of that comes from June Doherty. June Doherty applauding the effort of her squad She'll talk things over with Mike and with Sonny Smallwood. Yeah, when I thought about coming to Washington, I definitely thought about June and the time that she was at Washington. And, um, you know, there was uh, so much success in on and off the floor. I thought she had amazing relationships with her student athletes. And um, she took over two programs and built incredible cultures uh, in the way that you would want to build a culture with young women. And that's loving them and caring for them. And she was an exceptional coach. and. Um, just did such a tremendous job um, and set a great example for us. I was so lucky to play for June for a year and I can't thank her enough for all the wonderful memories I had as a senior and leaving the game feeling like I loved it again and she helped it reignite that love for me my senior year. Um, when basketball got really hard for a while and it was a grind, she reignited the fun and the spark of just playing the game for fun. I wonder if I hadn't been coached by June that last year in college, if I really would have still had this burning love for the game that I do. Um, and I just, you know, she's so missed because she did things for the right reasons and um, she's just missed. She was just a really good person to play for and to work with and I miss her. June's incredible. She had such an impact on people, whether you're her player, a family member, a friend, someone in the community. She treated people so well and she taught me so many lessons about how you should treat people and what's important and she treated people equally and again when you, no matter who it was that walked in the room, you felt like you were the most important person in the room. She had this gift. I swear, I swear somewhere she had a superhero cape like in her closet that she just put on and and she'd light up the room. She walked in the room and she demanded presence without saying a word. She just had an energy about her. Um, I'll never forget the way she treated uh, myself, my family, this community, and just anyone I saw her come into contact with. Even today, uh, the players just still really respect June and their relationship with her. She was a player's coach. She was just a really kind, sweet person and uh, was just an excellent person to play for. Everyone in the game of women's basketball knows her. Everyone knows what a wonderful person she was, what an amazing coach she was, um, and just has such respect for her. So to have such a legacy um, is really remarkable. I mean, June's impact on me personally was monumental. Um, her life and her death impacted me greatly. She just leads an incredible legacy that I think if we could all turn into a fraction of what she was, will leave the world a better place. I just, uh, I'm just so lucky to have known her, you know? She was just one of those, she was a gift. And it's funny, it's not funny. It's, it, I, it's interesting because a lot of people, I don't think realize that until after, you know, because she challenges you so much with love and support. And then years later, people would always come back and be like, June, you dirty dog. Like, I see what you did there, <laughs> you know? So I just thank her. I know she's listening. I know she's around us and part of us, but I just miss her. She was one of those.